another video guys uh, it's been a little bit since I put anything up right now it's the end of October and uh, there's always a little bit of a lull kind of in October as far as the fishing goes here in Southwest Michigan um, it's kind of the Kings and uh, Coho's are wrapping up the steelhead quite haven't turned on all the way yet and uh, yeah so that's why I haven't been putting out much of any uh, videos but anyways today um, I don't have the boat with me. We're going from shore, and I'm going to try to catch some lake trout. Um, if you guys go back to actually one of the first steelhead fishing videos that I put up, there was uh, this spot we were trolling that day, and there was this spot in this river that I'm going to right now that um, we were actually trolling uh, like maglips and stuff like that. And we'd hit this little spot, and it was this little hump in the channel and we'd hit a lake trout almost every time so that was two years ago when I did that uh, in that video and then I did it again last year and uh, ever since then I've been wanting to go back and try uh, fishing for them with some light spinning gear and uh, see if I can't get into them so it's a little early like I said I think that video was filmed like around November 8th or November 10th something like that and it's the end of October right now, so I'm a week or two early, uh, but I figured I'd give it a shot and see what happens. So anyways, uh, I'll check back in once I get there, maybe show you guys what I'm using. It's kind of, like I said, I'm totally winging it. Um, I don't know exactly what type of bait to try for these. Like I said, they hit, they hit maglips and other crankbaits last time, um, but from sure it's gonna be a little different. So anyways, uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right, so I finally just hooked one, but I, uh, I'm i just vertical jigging a blade bait. And I think I had 10 pound fluorocarbon on. Like I'm running a 15 pound main for braid and then 10 pound fluorocarbon and it just, I felt it just pop and, and there's a bunch of rocks down here. So the line was all tattered up and messed up. So I'm switching out to uh, 15 pound right now and cause that's as heavy as I've gotten. Hopefully that does the trick, stay tuned. Look what I just caught. <laughs> it's interesting. Loco spoon. That's been down there a minute. There's a fish. There we go. Whoa. Uh, the reel's messing up. There we go. What is going on? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with my reel. Stay hooked, baby, stay hooked. Finally. Ah. Feels like a good fish, unless it's hooked funny. Good head shakes. Stay hooked. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Hopefully you guys saw that. Really nice fish. Oh, nice red fins on him. Almost to where I can net him, I think. It's heavy. He's got to turn his head a little bit. He's almost here. One more crank on him. Okay, man, he burps those big bubbles. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh, I got him. Awesome fish. First one. Look at those orange fins. 
Awesome fish. We're gonna get him back. He's still really healthy. Hooked right in the mouth with that blade bait. All right, I'm gonna get him back. Well, the rain is not clearing up. It uh, basically only said it was gonna rain until about two, and I think it's about four now. And it's all good though. The only problem is I broke off both of my uh, blade baits that I caught that fish with. So I just switched over to a spoon. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else to try. I've thrown a, like a three quarter ounce jig head with a big paddle tail on it. And I've actually had a couple good bites on that. So I might throw that a little bit more, but uh, anyways, I hope the footage is looking okay. I've got the chest cam on and uh, hopefully I got that first fish on cam good, but uh, I'm gonna keep after it for a little bit. I got the full on striker ice gear on today. The truck's at 37 degrees. So I'm actually toasty warm and uh, feeling good. So. Stay tuned, let's try to catch another one. There's a fish. There we go. Got one on the spoon. Come on, baby. This is on my other rod I brought because that other reel kept messing up. It's like the backstop is, keeps messing up on it. On a Stella, like, come on. This one is not fighting like that other one was. Might be hooked funny. There's some head shakes. There's some head shakes. Action. This rod is a little bit better for doing this. This is a uh, this is an eight foot six medium action G Loomis rod, and uh, it definitely suits these fish a little bit better than that rod I caught the last one on. But it was fun, and this is fun too. I haven't seen him yet. I'm gonna have to grab the net here in a second. You always kind of hope that if you're gonna be the guy that goes out on the rainy crappy day that you luck into a couple fish and it worked out today. Definitely been out here plenty of times in the rain and not caught fish though too so <laughs> all right I need to grab the net. This reel's working much better. This is a Penn Battle 2 2500 size. And these are actually sealed saltwater reels but I really like them for the money. I think they're only around a hundred bucks and man, they just are tanks. All right, I still haven't seen them. Here he comes. Come on, buddy. There's the swivel. I don't do this very much, you guys, as far as shore fishing and trying to net these big fish by yourself. This is one of the first times I've done it, and it's an absolute blast. I'm all in on it. Here he is. It's coming up right now. Oh, it's actually it's a smaller one. I think it's just hooked funny. There. Oh, okay. He's hooked in the mouth, but he just came in funny like he was wrapped or something, maybe. That was that little spoon I switched over to. A lot smaller than the first one why it felt different hopefully you guys can see them this one doesn't have those colored up fins but it does have a clip so it's a stocked fish that'd be a good eater but i'm not eating any today cool fish man that's fun all right let's get them back it's bleeding just a little bit yeah Goes. There he Trying.
There's a fish. Yes. Stay hooked, baby. Oh, yeah. Finally. Stay hooked. That's a nice one, too. He slammed that spoon. I switched over to a small uh, casting spoon and started pitching along these rocks, and man, he hammered it. I was just getting ready to pack up and roll out. Oh, man, that was a good hit. I got to bring him down here to net him. It's a big fish, I think. Man, these things, I'm telling you, they fight awesome when you get them in the river like this. Obviously, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, it's kind of like when you hook up one of these things out on the big lake, you're kind of almost bummed, like, oh, man, we got to deal with a lake trout, but, man, these things just are heavy, good fighting fish when they push into these rivers to spawn like this. If you haven't ever done this, get out and try it. This is my, uh, I think this is only my uh, second time actually trying to do this, and uh, it will not be my last this fish just annihilated this spoon too i started i had snagged up my both my blade baits that i brought <laughs> well i think i actually had hooked fish with them and these rocks just beat the line to death so they had broke off and i switched to a uh, little casting spoon and man it was a good hit hopefully i got it all on camera i got to bring him down here a little bit more to try to land him Fun stuff on light tackle. Oh yeah. This one's not. This one is foul hooked. That's why it's been fighting so funny. That's okay. We'll get him in and let him go. He was fun to fight anyways. Came unhooked right away. We're gonna get him right back. He's still really good and healthy. Show you guys real quick. Ah. See him. Nice fish. All right, come on, buddy. Easy. See, this one doesn't have those nice fins, but you can tell they're spewing eggs and getting in here to spawn. So let's get her back. Obviously, the males are the ones that have the good color on them. Nice fish. All right. You can see her swim right away. Woo! Well, that was super successful, I'd say. Um, I think I ended up landing three fish that last one I hope I can check on the video again but man I think what happened is that fish hammered it and it somehow ended up with the hook in the tail I don't know how maybe I just maybe I just follow hooked it and I'm not sure but it sure was a good bite it felt like um, it was still really fun I uh, lost a couple blade baits it seems like that's kind of the hot ticket is those blade baits but they're uh, Man, yeah, they're eight, ten bucks a piece, and I think I lost two of those, a couple spoons. So it was definitely a learning experience, and uh, that's what's fun about fishing and going and trying new things is you always learn something. And now uh, I found another uh, really fun thing to do this time of the year when the fishing just isn't that great. These lake trout are in here thick, so hopefully I got a couple more weeks of being able to do this. And uh, I don't know if it gets super crowded down here or not. I, it might be earlier, and it was raining all day today, so it probably kept quite a few people out. But um, 
I had a blast. I hope you guys liked this video. If you have any tips for me as far as maybe some different baits to try next time or anything like that, be sure to drop them in the comments because like I said, I'm real new to doing the shore fishing stuff. I mainly fish from the boat all the time. So, uh, But I just had to get out of the house and do some fishing. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, drop a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching.